Hi, this is Gary again. I'm going to do a little update here on my Roadster body build. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit more about welding. And uh, the panels, uh, they're 19 gauge, pretty thin stuff. Um, I know there's a lot of different views on welding as far as using a TIG or a gas weld or MIG welding, uh, wire MIG welding. I'm uh, more comfortable using the wire weld even though it's pretty thin metal. I'm using a .025 wire and a trimix gas which has argon in it which makes the pedal a little bit less, uh, it's more of a shallow pedal. Puddle and um, and I know that uh, welding these seams, I'm going to have to do um, a whole lot of bondo to make this look right. But I wanted to give you an up close view of the fit um, that I've got here. And as as you form this sheet metal, uh, whatever way you can, you know, English wheel or pound it out on a stump or whatever. Um, you've got to trim it and then work it and then trim it and work it and back and forth, back and forth until you get the shape that you need and also the fit. So it's, I turned the lights off so I could get a little sun to reflect on this just to give you an idea of the finish. This is pretty much a finish that came right out of the English wheel. And this trough that's down in here, I've just tacked it along in here. Um, this has a drain right here in the bottom. And, and it comes from, uh, this is gonna be the uh, water drain for the back lid. And the back lid is something that I'm gonna hinge uh, back here in the back. And this will raise up and down inside will be the um, the rag top, the uh, convertible top that will fold back in, in behind the seats. And in this uh, situation here, the original donor car didn't have a spare tire. And um, since I've extended the length of the car 10 inches in the back, now I've got room to uh, slide a spare tire and create a mount back inside the back of the body. Uh, for a spare, which is kind of nice on a long trip. So, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and, and uh, weld these seams, and then I'm come back and show you before any sanding or anything what they look like, and then maybe after they're sanded, then I could show you. Um, here's here's a butt joint right here. I've kind of tacked it together and then tapped it around a little bit with a hammer to get it flush. Okay, so more a little later. Okay, so uh, I just ran the MIG welder around this. Uh, this is the butt weld here. Um, probably would have done a little better if I would have sanded the tacks off flush so they didn't bump up and I wouldn't have had to stop every time I came up to one. This is the, the MIG weld here. Um, And then I've got this, uh, this edge weld here that I'll grind down. Um, I want to try to leave as much material in the weld as I can so it doesn't uh, crack with vibration as time goes on. And after I pull this, the uh, shell off, I'll probably go inside and, and add reinforcing welds on the inside. Uh, a little tough to get to right now, but as I pull this off, um, it'll be easier to, uh, to add those welds on the inside. Okay, so this is uh, the third step. Um, ran a wire brush down the beads to clean out all of the crud down in the weld beads. Gave it a sand with a 80 grit flap wheel sander. Um, you can kind of see what I'm going to leave it like at the moment. Um, I did go over it with a, a DA sander to uh, 
just to clean it up a little bit. And then I sprayed it with uh, anti-rust. It's a water base um, rust proofing that um, I didn't realize I really needed, but the acid from your hands actually puts enough material on there. And when the cold roll has just been uh, sanded, um, it rusts just overnight actually. So anyway, uh, that's a short bit on just the welding side of it. Um, again, just to pick up this channel here, I'm gonna build a three quarter inch square tubing frame that'll drop down in there and that will be the carrier that I'm gonna use for the, uh, the hinged uh, bonnet. <laughs>